All right, the other big story today, at least 40 Indians were killed after a fire broke out in a building housing workers in Kuwait's Mangaf city. The fire was reported at 3 p.m. GMT uh, and was contained and authorities are investigating the cause. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Bahad Yusuf Saud Al Sabah, who visited the site and said violations by real estate owners had contributed towards the incident. According to sources, a majority of the dead victims are Indian workers. The Indian Embassy in Kuwait has issued a helpline number. The Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar said there are reportedly uh, he confirmed that there were 40 deaths and over 50 have been hospitalized. He added that the Indian ambassador has gone to the camp. We are awaiting further information. Now, Adarsh Swaika, ambassador of India to Kuwait, visited the Al Adan hospital where the Indian workers were injured in the fire incident and have been admitted. He has showed the patients of full assistance from the embassy. Almost all are reported to be stable. Uh, at the moment, the Kuwaiti Health, Kuwaiti Health Ministry said forensic teams have identified some of the bodies. Now, according to the source in the General Fire Department, the victim suffocated from rising smoke after the fire broke out on the ground floor. The building's owner has been detained in an investigation into potential negligence. Uh, the Interior Minister Sheikh Fad Al Yusuf has said that he has visited the scene as well. Unfortunately, the greed of the property owners is what leads to these matters. I will call the director of municipalities and we will talk to all property owners. Any property violation will be removed early morning. Either the property owner removes it himself or I will give instructions to the municipality to remove them. All right, to talk more about this, we're now being joined by Raven D'Souza, who is uh, the executive managing editor of Times Kuwait. Uh, Mr. D'Souza, thanks very much indeed for talking to us uh, this evening. Can you give us more details of what's happened on the ground? Forty Indians are dead in that fire. Uh, you know, how many people were in that building? What were the circumstances that led to this, uh, if there is any more information coming out? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we all woke up here in Kuwait uh, to this tragic news uh, today morning. I think the fire started somewhere uh, in the early hours of 3, 3.15 a.m. and lasted for a whole hour and a half before the fire brigade could uh, fire brigades, uh, could, could contain, contain the fire. Uh, obviously, there were some violations that, uh, that were in the building. There was, it was an overcrowded uh, building which was... Uh, housed for uh, laborers camp uh, people who worked it's it's called labor camp uh, people who worked in uh, the oil field and uh, uh, so obviously this uh, did did increase the number of deaths the cause of the uh, fire exactly is not known but it is assumed uh, that it was a gas uh, uh, cylinder burst but in the months of summer uh, uh, Peak temperatures have not yet been reached, but we do have fires due to short circuits and uh, you know rising temperatures. Uh, so this also has not been ruled out. Uh, obviously, the many of them could not escape. Uh, they were trapped in the building. They were uh, like sitting ducks. So uh, it was unfortunate, but uh, immediate uh, immediate uh, action has been taken in terms of uh, giving them uh, health health. Uh, uh, care in various hospitals. There are some still in ICU. I think uh, among the many people, almost 50 above who passed away, uh, the majority are Indians. And, uh, you know, the uh, numbers, and as you mentioned earlier, they are still being uh, counted and uh, identified because of the uh, uh, gravity of the uh, disaster. Uh, this is a, a, you know, a disaster uh, magna mag uh, uh, what do you say, a huge magnitude uh, proportion for Kuwait. Uh, we've never had something like this in the recent past. So uh, it's it's really unfortunate. And uh, the government has been very quick, as you've seen. Uh, I think Prime Minister Modi also tweeted, but uh, His Highness the Amir Sheikh Mishal has asked for immediate uh, action and uh, to uh, avoid uh, future such disasters taking place. So this has opened their eyes about various violations that have been taking place in terms of residential and uh, 
commercial buildings. Right. Mr. D'Souza, if you can throw some more light on this area in Mangav city, uh, is this an industrial city? There seems to, you know, there seem to be adjacent buildings one after the other. Uh, so, you know, as yeah, you were saying that they house, uh, you know, a lot of uh, refugee camps as well. Industrial area. It's where industrial workers, because it's very, it's very close to the oil oil uh, town, Ahmadi, and uh, where all the refineries are there, Shoaiba. So it's the closest, one of the closest. So obviously it's the most convenient place to uh, house workers uh, who, who otherwise uh, would not be able to stay where they work. But uh, overcrowding and overcramping has been a problem in the past. Uh, you know, and as the minister has mentioned, greed, uh, but we are still waiting for the full investigation. It's it's something unexpected and un unfortunate, uh, and um, probably never happened. Uh, uh, incident like this never happened in the history of Kuwait in terms of fire. Uh, we've seen big fires, but not such number of deaths. So it's uh, really uh, very sad for all of us. Uh, there are one million Indians working in uh, working and living in Kuwait. So uh, uh, this has really sent shock shockwaves to the community and uh, to various households and their families back home uh, from Kerala to uh, all over uh, India. Will be stock taking in this and it looks like a clear case of negligence uh, on the face of it. Uh, the Deputy Prime Minister has also visited the site. Uh, I assume that there will be coordination between your authorities and the Indian authorities at the embassy as well. Yeah, actually uh, the embassy has provided all sorts of uh, counselor or uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, help, uh, support. But the government of Kuwait is already on top of it. I think they uh, they've acted quickly. They've acted uh, swiftly. They have uh, uh, you know uh, directed all departments to uh, uh, you know uh, activate uh, emergency uh, measures so that uh, they will be treated in the best of hospitals, uh, obviously free of charge, and uh, they are taken care of. Now the investigation, uh, the embassy of course has its role limited. They they will just support. It's not that the the workers were. Uh, uh, not paid or uh, they were uh, the company also will take the responsibility in terms of you know taking care of their uh, uh, whatever requirements but the tragedy is just uh, very very sad that it it uh, you know it beyond uh, what we any small uh, incident uh, that normally happens maybe a small uh, cylinder blast or some fires which which can be contained this is a, a huge thing. A huge proportion for us, right? Absolutely. And so we are really sad about it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, a huge proportion and major tragedy. There, are forty Indians killed. Raven D'Souza, executive managing editor uh, of the Times Square. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. At this Thank moment. you. Thank you. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.